Auto-Tune. Many people don't like it, but in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Auto-Tune in a way that doesn't suck. Let's go. Auto-Tune allows you to adjust the pitch of a sound, usually a vocal, to make it sound more in tune or in the correct key. Now, more recently, Auto-Tune has been used more as an effect, and there's plenty of examples of that. Put that back. However, if you want to use an Auto-Tune plugin just to give yourself a little bit of help and maybe hit more of those notes, that's what we're going to look at right now. In this demonstration, we're using BandLab, a free recording platform compatible with Mac, PC, iPad, iPhone, and Android devices, and we're going to be using this, the Auto-Pitch plugin. And we're using the desktop version in this demonstration demonstration, but the mobile version works in a very similar way and there's a video linked up the top and in the description if you want to learn more. In BandLab, I've recorded a cover of one of my favourite classic tunes. To apply the auto pitch plugin, we simply click on the track that we would like to use and then click on the auto pitch button. By default, the auto pitch will be turned off, but to turn it on, simply click on the slider. And you can see that the lightest amount, 0% of auto-tune is automatically applied. To adjust that, we slide this dial up and you can go from lightest through to the light setting, through to a medium, and through to a heaviest setting. Let's dial this back to the 0%, the lightest setting, and take a listen. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. And as you can see down the bottom here, each letter lights up as that particular note is hit. And what the auto pitch will do is it will tune that note to the note that corresponds. And if you're using the project key as we're doing here, which is C major, it will actually line that up with the correct note there, knowing that it's gotta be one of these notes that are in there. Let's turn this up to medium now and take a listen. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Now you can hear there that as we've got it at medium, you get more of that, oh, a little bit of that T-Pain style effect going on there. Let's put this up to the heaviest and take a listen. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. Hopefully now you can hear the difference between very light auto-tune and very heavy auto-tune effect. You may also notice that when we're playing, it's not always directly on the note. Let's play this again zoomed in and take a look. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. So you can see there it kind of jumps around and that's because of the natural vibrato that's in my voice. And this is where auto-tune can sometimes sound a little bit fake is that the natural vibrato of a voice means that you won't always be right on the note. And that is why the best technique for auto-tune is to use it in moderation. Let's jump to another part of the track here. We'll go back to auto pitch and let's turn it all the way up to 100 and we'll play back this section because I want to show you why project key is not always the right option. Take a listen. I learned how to get along and so your so what happened there is that it didn't hit this A flat. It kept going from the G to the A. So because we've told it this is in C major or potentially A minor, which is pretty much the same key, then it jumped around between G and A. So if we want to change that, what we can actually do is go to all notes here instead of being in that key. And now let's play that passage back again and take a listen. I learned how to get along and so your so that time it did hit the A flat, which is what we wanted there. So that's a trick there. If you do want to use this as an effect, then make sure that you've got it on all notes. If you're finding the notes aren't hitting right, it's probably because you're singing notes that aren't in that scale. And by being in the project key or a specific key signature, it's not hitting the right notes. But I promised you auto-tune that doesn't suck. And that's what we're going to look at now. So let's go back to the start of this track and jump back into auto-pitch now. I tend to use this very lightly. So if I use even 10%, that's quite a lot. So let's put this back up to 10%. We can use either the project key, but I'm going to use all notes here again, knowing that I hit some of those notes as we just saw that are not within the scale. And let's take a listen to this vocal now. At first I was afraid, I was petrified. So to me, that's sounding pretty good. Just at that 10%, it's helping hit some of the pitch of those notes. It's not sounding fake, and it's not doing that wobbly effect. It's also retaining the vibrato that we want in there. Again, if we turn it up too much, let's just take a listen to the difference. I kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. 
So that's where it starts sounding fake. As soon as we start dialing it back down, we get a more realistic performance. There you have it, auto pitch here in BandLab. Not only is it a cool way to enhance your vocals, it doesn't have to suck. Check out the links in the description below for a heap more BandLab tutorials and head over to studiolivetoday.com slash BandLab to sign up for free and check it out for yourself.